red handfish. They are a species of anglerfish. They have modified pectoral fins, so they use these, these fins to walk along the sea floor. We, we know them from two sites. At one of the sites, there's about 90 fish, and then at the other site, there's only about seven fish left. The species is critically endangered. The fact that there is only 100 in the wild, they, they really are a species that's on the brink of extinction. And, and without some sort of intervention, it's highly possible that the species will go extinct within the next few years. Generally, on average, the fishes that we see are about 60 millimetres long. So they can be quite hard to find, particularly in very dense habitat. They live underneath and shelter underneath seaweed and seagrass, and they also use that to lay their eggs on. And what we're seeing at our sites is removal of the seaweed habitat by this increase in native urchins, which simply just eat the seaweed. The urchins are a native species and their numbers have increased through top-down removal of predators. So indirectly removal of the lobsters. So yes, humans have been responsible for the decline of this species, but the site is also really close to urban areas. So we have a whole bunch of other impacts that are acting at that site. Through the partnership with FAME, the scope and the scale of this project has increased so much that we can now do four key aspects that are fundamentally important to recovering red handfish populations. Those four key components will focus on captive breeding, working with the IMAS aquaculture team. They'll focus on habitat management and mitigation of threats. We'll also be able to investigate some key conservation strategies, including translocation of red handfish to new sites that are not impacted, but also looking at trying to restore ecosystem balance within the sites that are existing. The money puts the people on the ground that can do the work. We've built the facility, we've built the core foundations of our techniques on how to rear them. Now we need to breed them, we need to breed large numbers, and then the animals that we are going to release back into the wild go through a, a handfish school, if you like, so an enriched environment that looks more like the wild. We want to be really successful in in the survival of these animals when they go back out. So the, the handfish school will be a very important component of the captive breeding. The world is now facing really significant species declines at rates that are accelerated beyond what we've ever seen before. And this represents another step in that direction if we don't move to do something about it. Being in, in Tasmania, there's always the, the risk of a, a repeat thylacine going extinct, and we, we don't want to see that with another Tasmanian species in the red handfish as well. 